Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Lex with Omtech Laser, and today we're gonna to be going over the five common issues and how to solve them with the Pronto series. Issue number one, pretty common, is the water error. So this could be caused by a few things. First thing, it's very common to have the tube switched in the backside. So the inlet needs to go to the outlet hose and the outlet needs to go to the inlet hose. Besides the hoses, the other part of the water sensors that can go wrong on the Pronto are the cable going from the laser to the chiller. This is an alarm cable that senses the temperature and sends an alert to your machine. If your machine didn't come with one of these, make sure to reach out and get one long enough to go from where your chiller is to where your laser is. Issue number two that we find pretty often is the air pressure sensor on these machines. You'll configure this in the RD works and it's just as simple as configuring a little bit of the settings. The fix is usually as easy as a new configuration in the RD works settings. If you're using a Mac, the way to fix this error is to adjust the onboard solenoid, or a simple trick to bypass the error is to plug the air compressor directly into the wall, which will keep compressor on the entire time. On a Windows platform, you can adjust the air delay in inventor settings to zero to fix this error. Issue three is a safety lockout. If your screen says machine protected, it means a door sensor isn't registered or closed. The Pronto has two sensors per door, so be sure both the front and top doors are fully closed and check sensor wiring if needed. Issue four, autofocus. Don't panic, it's not broken. The Pronto's autofocus only works over the back section of the bed. Make sure that your material is spaced in front of the sensor and then press autofocus or switch to manual focus when needed. Issue five, this one's a little more general. If your laser isn't firing, it could be a wrong origin setting or a misstep in your test fire process. Double check your origin point, test fire from both the software and control panel, and make sure your laser enable switch is on. If none of these solutions worked for you, don't worry, Omtech has your back. You can reach out through email or call in and we can help you figure it out. If you have any other questions, you can always go to the official Omtech US laser group on Facebook. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be current with all of our upcoming content.